CC Grid Wipe, CC Line Sweep, and CC Jaws are all transitions in the CC set of effects. And you can find them under the transition category. If I go there, I'm gonna add CC Grid Wipe to this top layer. And the first property right here is the completion of the transition. If I turn this up from zero to 100%, we get a transition in this crosshatch shape. Now, if I put it somewhere in the middle where we can see the shape of that transition, we can look at the other controls. We have the ability to change the center point where that transition is starting from. We can change the rotation of that pattern. We could increase or decrease the border size, which if I get to a point where we can really see these cross hatches, is just controlling how thick or thin those lines are. And we can control the size of the tiles as well. So if we turn this way up and turn the border way up, then we're gonna get something that looks a lot more like a grid and less like a cross hatch pattern. We can also change the shape of the transition. Right now it's expanding radially from the center of the frame, but I could change this to doors, where it's going to start in the middle and go outwards. In fact, I'm gonna reset the effect to defaults and change that to doors again so we can see it a little bit more clearly. Now the rotation is set to 45 degrees, but if I change that to 90, then the doors label makes a little bit more sense. It's coming from the center and moving outwards. We also have a rectangular, which will just give us that square shape instead of the circular shape that we get from the radial setting. We can also reverse the transition so that it's coming towards the center of the frame rather than moving away from the center of the frame. But that's it for CC Grid Wipe. Next up is CC Line Sweep. Let's add that to this layer. And we have similar controls. The Completion Slider, which will just transition from the layer to 100% opacity, revealing the layers below it. We can change the direction, just like before, as well as the thickness of the lines or the slant of those lines and we can also flip the direction so that it moves from the opposite side. Next up is CC Jaws. If I apply that to this layer again, we see some very similar controls. I can increase the completion to see what this transition looks like, change the center point of that transition, rotate the direction, and increase the height of the shape as well as the width of the shape. We can also change the shape from being these spikes to one called Robo Jaw, which kind of looks like a robot's mouth opening and closing. We can change it to Block, or we can change it to waves. And all of these controls work with any one of those shapes. But that's it for CC Grid Wipe, CC Line Sweep, and CC Jaws. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.